Pacific Rim Uprising. Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Cam and welcome to my review for Pacific Rim Uprising. This movie was directed by Stephen DeKnight and it stars John Boyega and Scott Eastwood. This movie is the direct sequel to Pacific Rim, which came out in 2013 and was directed by Guillermo del Toro. I'm sure you know who he is. Del Toro and Charlie Hunnam, the lead in the previous movie, have not returned. And judging from this movie, they dodged a massive bullet. This movie takes place 10 years after the events of the first movie, and it stars John Boyega as Jake Pentecost, the son of Idris Elba's character, Stacker Pentecost. And Boyega, along with Scott Eastwood, have to fight Kaiju Jaeger 2 Electric Boogaloo. As far as the first movie goes, it was fine. I, I'm not a huge fan of the first movie. There were some good parts, but overall, it was just kind of eh. But that movie is Citizen Kane compared to this pile of crap. Not only is Pacific Rim stuffed to the gills with tired cliches, but it's also about as dumb as a bag of hammers. I will say this, though. John Boyega and Scott Eastwood, they try their hardest. But Eastwood is about as interesting as a slice of white bread, and not even Boyega's charisma is enough to save this dreck. In terms of the human scenes, the best scene happens between the two of them when they're talking over ice cream. And Eastwood is trying to get something out, and John Boyega keeps interrupting him with whipped cream. Eastwood's like, I'm trying to tell you, and then Boyega's like, <coughs> That was actually kind of funny. Okay, so the human scenes were not particularly great, but the action's good, right? Well, the glacier fight and the finale are good, but the rest is not so good. The action is the best part of the movie, though, I will say that. But this movie, and any hopes of another movie, gets pile-driven into the dirt, thanks to Charlie Day. Now, I have not met this man. I probably never will meet this man. He seems like a nice guy. He seems to be kind of funny. But in this movie, he was about as annoying as a thousand nails on a thousand chalkboards. He was basically like if Ari Gold from Entourage was stripped of any form of likability. Charlie Day is recurring his role from the previous movie in which he and this other character named Gottlieb were scientists. Gottlieb returns as well and he was actually kind of cool. Charlie Day was not. And if Charlie Day had a small role, it would have been fine, I would have forgotten about it. But no. He plays a crucial role in the climax of this movie, and it was uncomfortable to watch. There is a moment, and when that moment happens, I literally wanted to watch the movie through my hands. I was literally sitting in the theater like this. You know it's bad when you're watching the, the movie like this. But guys, in the end, Pacific Rim 2 was not very good. The action is the best part of the movie, but everything regarding hu regarding human characters was tired, it was boring, it belonged in the late 90s. I just hated this movie. I swear, this March is like the new January, because I've seen A Wrinkle in Time, Gringo, and now this pile of crap. At least with Insidious 4 and Winchester, they were trying to tell a different story. This movie just felt like a checklist of all of the action movie cliches. And they got just about all of them. Don't watch this movie. I mean, unless you're interested, just don't watch it. But that is all for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for my Avengers review, which should be up by the time this video goes up. I'll also have my reviews for Iron Man 3 and Thor 2 as well. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like and to also subscribe. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, the links to all of my social media accounts will be in the description below. My name is Ryan Cam, and I'll see you in the next one.